Hi everyone, thanks for practicing with me today. So today's flow is going to be a super duper slow flow, okay? This time of year can be a little chaotic, um, so we're gonna attempt to calm the chaos a little bit. Uh, we're going to go into a lot of familiar poses, but we're gonna stay in them longer, okay? So we make ourselves, force ourselves to slow down a little bit, okay? All right. Ready? Let's go. All right. Ready? So let's go ahead. We're going to calm the chaos. Let's start on the ground. Okay. <laughs> start with our grounding ourselves a little bit here. Okay. So just come to a nice, comfortable seated pose on your mat. Um, can be easy seated, it can be up on your legs, you can roll up a towel, a blanket, whatever makes you comfortable, okay? Okay, let's warm up a little bit. Let's always start here with some breath work, okay? So you can close your eyes, soften your eyes, Find a drishki point, something to stare at, whatever you want to do here. Get tall in the back, tall in the back of the neck, shoulders up and then down. Nice deep breath in. Let, let it be natural, but slowing, okay? Imagine the air going in and then coming out, okay? Couple more breaths. And now this time, let's do a really deep breath in, okay? So exhale it through your mouth. Do that again. Inhale through your nose. <sighs> Exhale through your mouth. Loud. You can make some noise here if you want. Just let it out, okay? Inhale. <sighs> All right. Sigh of relief, right? Okay. Bring your arms up over your head slowly. Press your palms together. Pushing your hands together. Draw that into your heart center, okay? Elbows tuck in close to your hips. I can set your intention for the practice today. Um, call it calming the chaos, right? Anytime you need to calm the chaos, we just gotta slow things down a little bit. So that's what our attempt for today's practice is gonna be, to slow down. 
Find what speaks to you, though. If there's something your heart is telling you, listen to that. No, this time, let's sweep our arms up. Gather it all up. Gather everything up. Bring it up above you. You can push your, press your thing, fingers, your thumbs to your forehead. All those worries, all those concerns, bring them to your heart center. Thumbs can go to heart center. Let it settle. We're not in a rush. Okay, let's start with some gentle warm-up movements and then we'll go into some poses and stay in them for a while. Um, I probably won't be frozen, but you might think I'm frozen. So <laughs> just, give it a, just give it a few more breaths. <laughs> All right, go ahead, bring your um, feet up, okay? Knees are bent and just Wrap your arms, so sweep that right hand around, wrap it, sweep that left hand around, wrap it. Just snuggle in, give yourself a hug. All right, let's extend our legs out. Sometimes this can get a little pinchy. You might need to be up on a towel here or a blanket. Just your sit bones. So what does that mean? Move your bum around, okay, till it feels comfy. That's what that means. <laughs> All right, back is strong. Belly is in and up, okay? Flex your toes. Toes point to shins. We're going to move our torso, entire torso, hinge at the hips towards our upper thighs, okay? Towards, it doesn't mean it has to touch. Whatever is comfortable, okay? Gently and slowly. Hands can go to the ground. Nothing's forced here. Micro-bend in those knees, okay? Or bend to any extent. If you need them bent more and you need to reach forward, it's okay. That belly in. Walk your hands back up. Reach your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers. Press it up. Drop your shoulders down. Relax your hands to your side. So Let's cross our feet again, but let's cross them a different way, okay? So whatever way you had them crossed before, 
change which foot is in front, okay? From here, bring your arms in front of you and tuck your thumb into when you bend your arm, that space where the elbow, the crease you make, right? When you bend at the elbows. Tuck your thumbs in there, okay? So now you kind of got it lined up. Belly is in and up. We're going to inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Back, back, back. Exhale down. All right. Let's meet up in tabletop, okay? Over here. All right. So a nice tabletop position. Go ahead and tuck your toes, and we're just going to sit back on our toes. Do a 10 toe stretch here, okay? Noticing your breath. Hands can just rest on the top of your thighs. Palms up or down. I always think palms up, I'm being more receptive. Palms down, not today, right? We're going inward today, so you choose. What are you feeling? Okay, come back off your toes. Let's go into child's pose. Take your bum back to your heels. Sink. Walk your hands forward a little. Rest your forehead on the mat. Lift up through your armpits. Feel the stability of the ground beneath you, under your hands, under your shins, under your forehead. Walk your right hand over to the right, about six inches. Cross your left hand over your right wrist. Press into that left hip. Take it back to center. Rest your forehead. Walk your left hand over. About six inches, six to 10 inches to the left. Right wrist crosses left wrist. Press into that right hip.
Back to center. Rest your forehead. Slowly come up to tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your bum, back to down dog. Walk your dog. When you're ready, heels towards the floor. Micro bend in those knees or a, a bend of any bend you need in those knees. Press your head low, bring your head closer to the crown of your head, closer to the mat. Your wrists are feeling it here. You can come onto your forearms too. Back down to your knees. All right, I'm gonna to turn to face you. So if you wanna to come to the long end of your mat, come up on your knees. Whew. Let, let things realign. Okay, take that right leg, extend it out. Drop that right hand inside, left arm goes over. Look up under that left arm, left arm's by the ear. Right foot pointing forward. Belly's in and up. And state pose. All right, bring it back to center. Switch. Left leg goes out, left arm inside, right arms up and over. Sweep that arm down, back to tabletop. Right leg goes back, left leg goes back, belly's in and up, plank. If you need to, you can come to your knees.
press it back to down dog. This time in down dog, right leg extends back, bend your right knee, cross that right ankle right above that left knee, okay? Press into the left heel, so left heel's towards the mat here. Right foot goes down, press it out, up to all fours, back to long end of your mat. Rise up, gate pose. Switch sides. Bring it back in, back to all fours. Tuck your toes, down dog. Left foot extends back, bend your left knee, cross it over above your right knee. Right heel goes to mat. Plant that left foot. Walk your feet slowly to your hands. Bend your knees. Drag your fingers from side to side. So as you go to the right, bend your left knee. As you go to the left, bend your right knee. Okay, bend your knees, deep breath in, exhale as you come up. Reach your arms up over your head. Again, gather it up, gather, gather the worry, the chaos. Thumbs to forehead, and then give it to your heart. Right arm reaches up over towards the left. Sweep it down, left arm up and over. Take your right leg, step it back to high lunge. Toes are both pointing straight forward here. Arms 
can be wherever you want them to be. Belly is in and up, in and up, okay? Imagine there's a string on this back right thigh. It's pulling it up, okay? Step that right foot forward. Walk it. Left foot goes back. High lunge, other side. This hip crease of your right thigh pulls back, okay? This hip crease on your right side. Make sure your knee is above your ankle and not going from side to side straight, okay? Reach up, inhale. Notice your breath here. Left leg comes forward, drums up over, thumbs to heart center, bend your knees, forward fold, flat back. Forward fold. Hold your hands, right foot back, left foot back, plank. And dog. Right leg extends back, cross your right ankle. Take your right foot back, point your toe, bend your knee, come up on the tippy toe of your left foot, push your body forward, plant that right foot in front of your hands, okay? Walk, so heel toe your foot over to the edge of the mat, hands come inside, left knee is on the ground, dragon's pose. Really sink into those hips.
walk it back. Roll onto your heel, your right foot. Come up to your finger, your fingertippies. Variation of half monkey. Back is flat. Belly is in and up. Roll back forward, and then heel toe your foot back to center. Pick up that, tuck your left toes, pick up that left knee, down dog. Right leg goes back. Pick up that left foot, point it. Bend your knee, cross your left ankle over your right. Left foot goes back. Come up on the tippy toe of your right foot. Bend that right knee, push yourself forward. Plant your left foot in between your hands. Walk it to the side. So now it's on the edge of your mat. Hands go inside. Dragon pose. Belly is still in and up here. Start to roll back, so bum goes to, to heel. You roll up on your right, the heel of your left foot. Come onto your tippy fingers. Back is flat. Step forward. Walk your your left foot back to in between your hands. Pick up that right knee. Back to down dog. Slowly, one step at a time, walk your feet up to your hands. Forward fold, bend in your knees.
and peace finger your fingers and grab your big toes if you want. Keep that bend in your knees. Let your belly rest on top of your thighs. Nice deep breath in. Exhale as you come up. Hands to heart center. Okay, let's step into warrior two feet. So back foot straight, left foot's pointing forward, left arch is intersecting the arch of the back foot, okay? Bend into warrior two. Arms go up. Look over your front arm. For me, it's my left. Belly is still in and up here. Press the outer edge of your right foot, so the pinky toe part of your right foot, into the mat. Straighten that front leg. Reach with that left hand. Reach, reach, reach. Let it fall. Right arm goes to shoulder and then extends up. Triangle pose. Belly is in and up. Imagine there's a wall behind you you're resting your head on. Pinky, so, pinky side part of the right foot is point, pushing into the ground, okay? I think I tried to say pinky and toe and side all in one word. Mm -hmm. Micro bend in that front knee. Okay, back to warrior two. Let's do warrior two, other side. So just pivot on your heel and on the heel of your front foot, okay? Warrior two, other side. Straighten that right leg. Keep a micro bend. Reach forward. Let your arm fall. Left hand to left shoulder. Left arm extends up. Triangle. Look up. Belly is in and up.
two. Okay, let's windmill our hands, rotate on the ball of our back foot now. To the, now we're gonna be on the back part of our mat. Roll over and then meet up in down dog. Move on your tippy toes, drop your knees down, child's pose. Come to tabletop and gently, slowly, let's meet up on our backs. Okay. All right. Oh, go ahead. Bend your knees so your feet are on the mat. Pick up that left foot, extend it straight up. Bend your knee, reach for your big toe, these fingers. I'm sorry, this is the right, right side. You can do right or left, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do both. And then cross that right ankle over the left, above the left knee, okay? And then pick up that left foot. So now it's at a 90. Reach that space you created and pull it in towards you. your feet, point your toes to your shins, pull it in a little bit more. cross plant that right foot peace finger your left fingers grab that left big toe press it up it over right ab above your right knee pick up that right foot 90 degree your knee your leg reach to that space you created pull it towards you flex your toes
right, plant that leg. Extend your feet out. Reach your hands above your head, palms touching. And then just bring your hands towards the left and then your heels, walk them over to the left, okay? Pick up that right foot, cross it over your left ankle. Use banana uh, stretch here. Flex your feet. Cross your right foot and then walk your feet back to the middle. Bring your hands back to the middle. Point your toes and release your fingers and press up. Drop your shoulders down. Do the same thing on the other side. So hands together. Let's point over to the right. Heel, heel walk your feet over to the right. Now your left leg is going to cross your right ankle right this time. And think about our intention again, calming our chaos, whatever your intention is for the practice. Let your breath start to flow. Hands back to center, uncross your foot, walk your, your feet back, point your toes, and release your fingers, press up. Okay. Nice deep breath in. Let's set up for Shavasana. If you need something under your knees to help with your low back, that can be useful. Press your head into the mat, pick up your shoulders, and then lower them down. Tuck them under. Get comfortable. But you've done, appreciate what you've done. Let everything just be heavy.
ready to come out of Shavasana, take a deep breath in. Exhale. If you want to stay there, please, please do so. Otherwise, wiggle your fingers slowly. Point your toes. Hug your knees into your chest. Blink your eyes open. Go to the side. Settle here. Press that hand in, push yourself up. Meet me in a nice, comfortable seated position. Knowing that the chaos will always be there, but knowing we can come to our mat and calm it for a little while is somewhat relieving. <laughs> One more time, bring your hands up above you. Thumbs to forehead. All of that chaos, bring it to your heart, thumbs to heart. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free from suffering, may you continue to be awesome, and may you progress. Thank you so much. All right, have a great day. Thank you.